Hi, Living Fit with Laura friends. Let's get out there and get our exercise. We continue moving forward to those things that lie ahead, putting behind us those things that lie behind, keeping our mental attitude in check, just as when we emptied the dishwasher, take the kitchen garbage out, and uh, do our laundry. We do a daily cleansing of our mental, the mental junk that's swirling around in our brains. We have to clean all the junk out in our brains. I'm going to give you eight words, two sentences of four words that will help you. Never mind all the mumbo jumbo and years of quote unquote therapy that cause us to focus on self. The first four words is we do the next thing. For those of us who are stuck and we are tempted to have a pity party picnic for one, and seek the help of a therapist that will worsen the situation because most mainstream therapists encourage self-absorption. Self-absorption is a very small way to live. We do the next thing, basically, is what we need to do when we are paralyzed or stuck or feeling depressed. Do the next thing. The second sentence I will uh, teach my friends. Actually, my husband taught me both these sentences. Do the next thing and think about something else. We are slaves to our thoughts. That's why I keep thinking about, talking about our very healthful, healthy mental and spiritual attitude. So we need to keep getting rid of the junk every morning. We need to forgive. We need to think about those things that lie ahead, putting behind us those things that lie behind. We need to focus off of self. We need to focus on worshiping our living Savior. We focus on the sun, S-O-N. We focus off of self. We stop having the pity party picnic for one because having a pity party picnic for one is a recipe for misery. Let's do the next thing. And let's think about something else. What do we think about? I made a video about that. We do not think about what we see as problems. We do not think about poor pitiful me or what people owe us or what people do or don't do or how people have disappointed us. We think about what can we do to make someone else's life better. We think about all the blessings that we have that our creator have, has given us. That's what we think about. On this beautiful, beautiful day, we do not have a pity party picnic for one. We do not think and ponder on those things from the past. We do not think and ponder on our disappointments. We can see all loss as gain. I've talked about this. We can see all loss as gain with a shift in our attitude. God allows difficult things to happen, but because people, people have free will, People choose to do what they want. Many people blame God for their poor choices or for choosing to see their, themselves as victim. We are not victims. We are courageous. We are sane, stable, serene, and strong. We live with purpose, passion, and in the present. We accept, adapt, and embrace our new normal after major loss. This is the day my Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in the day. Let's all get our exercise. Let's do the next thing. Let's think about something else. Let's get our mind off ourselves to live well on this day. Living fit with Laura. To get and stay, staying stable, serene, and strong. Seeing life is sacred and not focusing on self. To get and stay, staying stable, serene, and strong. I'm proud of you. Keep up the great work.